video is brought to you by G2A.com for cheap games, MSP, and PSN codes. And sponsored by FatalGrips.com. Use the code BUCKS to get 10% off controller grips, cases, and much, much more. Hey guys, how's it going? Master Bucks here, and welcome to another 2025 Crew Mode episode. And today, we're looking at another one of the up and coming players in the world of football. And today, that man is Kaita. Yes, the Lazio and former Spanish left winger, that's correct. He used to be a Spanish player in the game, but he's decided to change his nationality back to Senegal. This guy right now has really got it going on. He's been absolutely killing it so far for Lazio. He's been doing so, so well. He's got a great in-game player. Very, very similar player in the exact same team in Felipe Anderson. But this guy seems to be getting slightly more of the love out of nowhere when Anderson, maybe in previous titles, was a little bit better. But it looks like he's now stepping out of the shadow. He's currently got a potential of around about 87, which is a plus 10 growth from his 77 overall. So let's take a look at the young man's stats then. 77 rated Kaita. He, of course, has got that pace, the stamina and strength around the 70 mark as well, and some other decent physical attributes. Ball control and dribbling looking great. Again, things like his finishing shot power and his curve crossing, and some of those passing stats as well looking very, very nice, but mainly his finishing attributes like being that left winger, right winger, and striker. Like it says, he can play in his positions. Four-star weak foot and skill moves. 20 years of age, six foot tall as well. Like we said, recently changed from Spain to Senegal. Speeds to speciality, finesse shot trait, and the flare trait, of course, as well. And with that 87 potential, he looks like he could be a very, 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 a very, very good player. Just had to settle on something pretty simple there in the end. But anyway, let's move on. The first season with Kaita, and let's take a look and see how much he's grown by in the first, if any. It's plus one this time. That's okay. A good modest start. Unfortunately, though, it's only two mental attributes. No technical growth, no physical growth, at least nothing that's being indicated but that is normally the case. We're just going to get mental attribute growth this time, plus two and plus three to things like aggression, attacking positioning, visions, and interception. So that's that. Plus one for the first season. Moving on now into season two. And how are we going to go this time around? Do we still get that plus one increase? Do we get no growth at all? Or maybe a little bit better? It's, gonna, it's still going to be plus one. But okay, 22 years of age now, 79 rated, good form. He's okay with his morale. He's content. That's fine. His physical attributes are still not going up. Mental attributes seem to uh, still be going up as well. And this time, around, we get that little bit of technical HP growth. Things only very minor growth though, things to his dribbling, slide tackle, stand tackle, and his crossing. They're the only increases that were being indicated. So again, bit underwhelming. I'd love to see him really shoot out of the water and just grow by two or three in this final third season, but let's take a look and see what he does. Come on, the final third season before we go all the way to 2025, and he's gone up by the two. 81 rated now at 23 years of age. Good form, happy morale. This is what you want to see. We're getting back on track. The plus two overall increase, and unfortunately, again, no growth to the physical. Nothing being indicated, and nothing I can tell has gone up, unfortunately. The mental attribute, again, never failing to go up, and the technical attributes, we still see only plus one increases to certain stats, but it's getting better and better as the time goes on. He's only got six overall points that he needs to go up by to hit his potential with a potential seven seasons left. So I think he should be able to get there. I think it's all set up for him. He's just got to keep going. But can he do it? Let's find out. Let's go all the way to 2025. And so here we are, 2025 with Kaita. And again, he, despite having maybe a lackluster start, only going up by the four in the first three seasons, he's definitely on track and you would think that he would have done it. But has he been able to do it? Can he become that beast player that we all want him to be? What's his rating in 2025? It's 86 at 30 years of age. He's still technically growing. He's got one set that's gone down. That's his aggression. That's fine. He's gotten slightly angrier or slightly calmer, should I say. Sorry. But some of those stats are still going up. Like, his unbelievable ball control already still be getting even better. Long passing, long shots, shot power and heading accuracy. That's all still going up. There could be a potential, a possibility that he could get to that 87. But unfortunately for us, in 2025, he's fallen short by the one. It's very disappointing and very oh, frustrating when, you know, you just get so close and especially when you know you can't use player training, but hey, that's, too, that's just too bad. At least we get to see a real, real close look at what his player is going to be if he were to get close to that potential, that 87 potential. He would be an absolute monster. The physical attributes like the pace looking sensational, ball control and dribbling always mental. That seems to be the case with a lot of players. They have great pace and ball control and dribbling. Just most players in general. It is sensational. They always develop and get to that high level when it comes to those certain, when that comes to those certain attributes. But still, other stats like the long shots, shot power, finishing your thought maybe could 
have been a little bit better, only 74, but something tells me this man could still absolutely hit a ball. A very exciting player, and especially when you bring the four-star weak foot and skill moves into it, he could definitely be a very, very fun player to have on the ball, especially when you've got ridiculous pace and ball control and dribbling like he does. So anyway, that's it for another 2025 Crew Mode episode. Thank you for watching once again, guys. Don't forget to leave in the comments down below your suggestions for the next episode. And until the next time, guys, my name's Master Bucks, and have a good one. Bye-bye.